We're not wasting any time at all. We're going straight into the pistol with TSM starting on the defense, Envious starting on the offense. Device trying to occupy a lot of space in the middle. He's got Kerrigan moving up, so it might have been a bit of a shield. Just making some noise and pushing down here. Kerrigan is still up there, and he's going to run right into Happy, and he's going to get killed for it. Picks up that. He's got the suit in the middle. Device, really? They must have seen that. Surely this is not going to work. Just fires it into the air. It's going to be a good start here for Envy. And they're going to set it up for the B-Take here as well. Deep flash going in. Apex rounds the corner. Checks car. Nobody there. It's going to be Dupree holding up Plateau. He loses the support from his teammate at door as well. But what is this? Dupree, what a start. Two headshots. He's still playing peekaboo back here. The last man alive, Kenny S. Not going to be able to accomplish much as Dupree. He ends it in style. Three headshots in the pistol. Really well played from the back line there. Ducking and, uh, and standing up really quickly and just making it work. Those headshots shutting down Envy in spite of a really good smoke and a really good uh, entry for, uh, for Envy in the middle. It seemed like a device was down to one HP. He could give no support to Dupree. Dupree just had to live, but he goes one step further, or three of them. So 1 0 lead now for TSM, having picked up the pistol. But of course, Envy in true Envy style, they're going to go for a force buy of their own. Pistols, armor, and the scout on Happy, not on NBK. And they've really done a lot of damage to Cajun. He's down to 18. I mean, everybody knows, even if this is the first Counter-Strike tournament you've watched, you've already been introduced to Envy. Their strength, a large part of it, is winning the second round. And it, even against top teams, they do it. And TSM, they must know that. So the fact that Cajun's down to 18 health, it's not just nothing. It could spiral out of control very quickly. And I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if, if Kenny's going to try and make a jump down CT spawn. That would be interesting. That's what it's looking like right now. Sipnix is down there. They have the flash. There it is. What's up? Surprise, surprise. And he's even doing big damage to Device, who's stuck on B slope. He's pinned down. Nowhere to go. They actually have to use the smoke to get him out of that situation. But the bomb is going to get planted for Cat. And now it comes down to whether Envy can hold. Kerrigan trying to have his say with the UMP. And Happy picking off his teammate Cajun. Cajun is down. There's a good mid-air headshot from Kerrigan, but it is way too late. TSM aren't even trying anymore. That was all it took. One jump down. Devices you said trapped up against that wall. Couldn't really do anything. Dupree and Device going to try and save what they have left here. And Envy, they do it one more time. Second round pickup after losing the pistol. It's ridiculous how good they are at it. It's exactly. It's, it's actually unreal how consistent they are picking up the second round. That's why it's like they're struggling to pick up pistol rounds that much. I mean, it continues. TSM winning the pistol here. But then in the second round, it's almost as, it's as if it's part of the game plan. They just want to wreck TSM's economy because now TSM are in a bit of a tight spot. Do they go for a force buy of their own or do they try and save for nades in the first buy round? I mean, Sipnix almost had the timing for it. If he had been a little bit further up on that ramp, then he would have caught Kenny jumping up on the ledge, and that would have been instant, instant death. There's no way you can survive that. Um, doesn't quite work out that way. NBK counting in the middle. How many people are going to be uh, crossing? And Carrigan maybe expecting a B rush, which is actually something that NV would do in a round like this, just to make sure that they, they weren't sort of slowly whittled down by the M4A1 on Dupree, or the, maybe not so much the P90 on device, but still. As far as that uh, M4A1 is concerned, playing in mid for now, and he, actually they spot it. He's down to 50 HP already, Dupree, but Kirishima's dropped down to 11. Fair trade for the most part. But they're very, I mean, this is very patient play from Envy. You could expect some kind of rush, but they really want to see, they want to figure out what exactly TSM have gone for. Did they go for the force buy, or are they just going to be playing off these two rifles, or the two guns, basically, as Dupree wins a duel straight up versus Apex? Very important fight to win there. He doesn't have the health to go and check if anyone else is there, so they don't quite have the information that there is a cat war push coming. Device is hiding in that corner while the rest of Envy are pushing up onto the A-bomb site. But if they win this fight down here against Happy, it could still work out just fine for them if they control long. And there it is, easy kill. AK that they can pick up as well. 5v3 here, it's gonna be the retake. This might be up to NBK with that scout. He's very good at it. He's gonna miss the first shot down to 75 health, hiding behind the barrels. Goes for one more shot. Kenny's there to help out. It's a headshot on Siblix and he's gonna go down. It's all on Kenny. 1v3, takes a kill, turns around, catwalk. He needs to land one more shot. He's gonna get the double, but Device comes in with a double kill. And that's gonna be it. Should have the time for the defuse as well, even without the kit. Oh, does he have a kit or not? I'm a. Well, well I find think out. he just has it. No. No, he doesn't! Oh, oh, oh no! We couldn't know, but there it is. Envy, they managed to win that round. Kenny, he stayed alive for just exactly one second longer than uh, TSM would have won it. Unbelievable. Here I am thinking, Kenny, why did you challenge the second man? After killing Dupree, you didn't need to. 
And that's a really good point to bring up. And it, I mean, this is the pressure of playing in a, in a finals like this. You, you make tiny mistakes, you have plenty of health. He already had the triple kill, could have just waited and it would have been 100%, but still, really good job on his part. I was getting him fired up. He manages to tag Dupree as Dupree jumps over to the B side and he's definitely communicated that to his teammates. Look at that, everybody milling around in upper halls for Envy. They're thinking about it, but that smoke goes up and that's gonna buy enough time here for Envy to start doubting the play, and they're gonna start backing up, trying to change it up, and Happy, look at this, walking straight out onto Cat again, trying to suss out the defense, but Cajun B will take his face off immediately. No real info gain either, he's just like, well, I, I don't know who actually killed me. Where did I come from? And as a response, Envy decided to just go and go for a, a bit of a B-split here. They've got Apex walking out into the middle while two people are holding the B-bomb site, and they need a bit of help, because one of them is very low, and that's Dupree hiding in the corner with that P90. Apex still stuck in here, but the rest of Envy, they are creeping in, and Dupree, He's gonna be. There's no flashbang. Oh, there's Zeus finally comes in. Dupree not peeking behind it. There it goes. Sprays down one. Actually, device getting the kill and trying a little bit more in the background. Pistols out, but Kenny and Kiyoshima gonna open up this bomb site. And Sipnix, he gets the shot through the smoke. And it's a very important kill. And the, the timing here for Kerrigan, this is going to be key. He can catch him out, but Apex backs off right into the open. And there you go, the timing was perfect. But Kenny decides to take the fight to him. Goes out onto B Slope and takes out Cajun. But he's only got 26 seconds left and not enough life to take a straight up fight. He gets overwhelmed in the end. And TSM come right back into this map swinging. But that timing, I mean, basically Kerrigan right there, him rotating into upper yeah. dark, that made the difference. Getting that two-pronged assault onto the B site with the retake, that's what it's all about. It's catching somebody like Apex out of position, out in the open, and getting a free kill. I think mentally for TSM, winning that round is really important because they almost, they should have had that last one. They really should have. Um, and the fact that they ended up losing it means their first real rifle round here is, is, was really important. And But on the flip side here, Envy did lose a lot of members. It was just Kenny, and he, he even went up with the bomb, I think, at the end. Or he, sorry, he died to device. So that means nobody survived that round that they won. And um, ultimately, that means they've just not got the money here, even with the plant. They just can't buy. Now, this is, um, depending on Kenny, what did Kenny go for? P250, yeah, he, they're going to be prioritizing that AWP. They have to be. Oh, well, Kenny's the first one to die, so he's going to get plenty of time now to think about what he wants to do as NBK takes out Cajun. Juan Dig is here, 11 HP left on Zipnix as well. He'll get overwhelmed by Apex, and they're doing good damage here, although jumping down into CT Kiyoshima falls right into Pree's waiting arms, and this is going to turn into a situation where it's looking pretty unlikely for Envy to get the bomb plan. I think the bomb got dropped off of the platform, and losing MBK, yeah, who had to try and go and get that bomb, it just wasn't meant to be. No bonus money this time around for Envy. But it, I mean, if you look at the positions they end up occupying in this round, if the bomb goes down, then Happy's position in the middle suddenly becomes incredibly dangerous. He actually has to move out because all of a sudden they're losing control of the bomb site like that. If the bomb goes down, I think Envy could win this round just based off Happy lurking around in the background. So they're setting themselves up nicely. And now they got the guns and Envy, okay, so Kenny actually has to go for the Galil. But this is going to play into Envy's style as well. Not waiting necessarily on Kenny to create an opening with the AWP, rather just be able to pounce on TSM when they spot weakness. Well, they've done so much damage to TSM as well in these rounds, even with just pistols. They know that TSM aren't really going to have an AWP anyway, so I don't think they desperately need it. Good opening frag here from Sipnix, and it's going to set up a flashbang device. Going to run in behind it with that P90, and he goes down to Kiyoshima, flashed or not, going to get that kill. A little sloppy. Hey, one detail to note here is that TSM, man, they're all on M4A1s. A4 not to be found here. So they are, you know, despite the change, they're willing to stick with the gun. That might be, uh, we, we'll see how that plays out. Right now, it's just going to be <laughs> a touchdown nade, Duncan on Dupree. And while Zipnix, no luck this time as far as picking off Kiyoshima. And you so, can you yeah. tell they're not even really trying for it here. No. They're, they're already walking back from that B-bomb site. There's, there are some really confusing things going on in this round. I definitely think Sipnik should have set up for that pop flash in middle. What I don't understand is they were both there. Why didn't they at least both peek at the same time? Um, and also, when Device wasn't hitting, the, like, with that P90, you don't have to commit to the, that spray. I mean, it's great if you kill someone, but they already had one kill. They could just wait it and, um, and saw that there was a couple of people middle falling back. And if they try and chase them, they have a crossfire with Sipnik and CT spawn. So I think TSM just actually trying to force that fight in the middle of it too much. Uh, these are like confidence plays, aren't they? Where it's just like you have to know that you're going to win that duel. And a player like Device as well. I mean, a star player, as Thorne likes to say, it's just he needs to know that he can face and win these kinds of fights. This time it didn't go his way. But we'll see next time. I mean, they are going to save three rifles. So it's not the end of the world for TSM. This doesn't mean an eco situation. They should be able to get a good buy going into this next round.
But now it's going to be on Envy and what they decide to do. One thing to note is that Kenny's actually top fragging right now. No, it's still early on in the map. But that's also really solid for him. A player that we are used to seeing drop insane numbers. He has been lagging behind lately. So for him to be leading the charge, that bodes well for Envy. Yeah, absolutely. Because you, you can also kind of... I think if Kenny's like at the bottom of the scoreboard, it's harder for him, I think, to get back up on top. I feel like everybody else on this team will slowly grind their way back. Uh, if not on this map, then on the next one, they seem to be mentally really strong. Well, it seems like TSM are trying to adjust now. Envy keep wanting to go towards that B side to get the bomb plant. They've had success there so far, so what did TSM do? They adjust. They bolster the defense there and leave A side a little bit more open. So we'll see if Envy are going to be able to pick up on this detail. Seems like Happy's got an idea of it, at least. He's putting three guys up on Cat. So this could get a little bit tricky here for Cajun. He doesn't have his AWP, so he's going to have to take this position on A slope. But it's not Happy leading the way this time, so we'll see if he can actually get the headshot to stop things. Well, right now, it's looking like a really good read from the French side. They are setting up nicely for an A hit. Only two people defending, which means they've got to win the battle on long. That's a really important one. Carrigan ready and waiting, takes down Apex, but still another player down here. Happy lurking about, Cajun taking a fight. But if Carrigan dies, then Cajun's on his own. He's got to win this fight. Now Cajun's going to go down, and Carrigan sandwiched in on long. And this is an awful position. 32 seconds left. The bomb is going to go down, but Happy sprays, and he doesn't actually connect. Sipnix comes up with a double, and that's going to be the retake. A triple kill all of a sudden. Envy, they got the bomb down, but somehow they got, they got caught weirdly on the catwalk there by Gandalf. They just never made it out. That Was it just me, or did that feel like a really long execute like it just the nades were going out okay they're gonna push no okay well, more nades okay they're gonna push now no like, it felt like it just never really came and so once all those nades start coming in it seems like tsm there's like right okay a site start rotating and by the time that bomb is going down it's too late everybody's there for the nades so a little a little hesitation maybe that's you know we're talking about the honeymoon period where envy are trying to iron out the wrinkles right now that might be one of them where they're still trying to figure out the pacing for certain plays Still, they're going to be able to buy in this round, so it's not the end of the world. They could actually do some pretty big damage here to TSM by re resetting their loss money. Yeah, maybe they had an idea that there was someone else on, aside from Cajun on that bomb site, because as soon as they killed him, they should be able... They don't even have to do anything. They just put down the bomb, and everyone else finds a post-plant position, and then, you know, you play for the retake, or you wait for the retake to come in. It seemed like they were... You're right, they were slow or delayed a lot. Maybe they thought they had, like, a specific setup in mind mm -hmm. that TSM might be running, and they were waiting for that. Because it gave just enough time for the B for the B bomb site guys to come into play. Sipnix with that really great round. Yeah, you got to give it to Zip. Three kills. I mean, this tournament he's been very strong. Yesterday in the group phase and today so far in the brackets, been looking very good, Zipnix. But again, envious. They want to change it up again, trying to keep them guessing. Envy, I mean, they're going to head over towards this A site. Two guys dropping down onto CT slope, and they're just and they're actually just going to jump across. Look like target practice there for a second, but Cajun's going to get overwhelmed. That was a perfectly synchronized double jump there. I love it. Carrigan there with a headshot, going to be taking down Kiyoshima. It's a four on four retake. Three of them are in CT spawn. That's a huge risk here. Very tricky to retake from this position. They are going to be trying to walk up the slope here, looking for a couple of headshots, but not landing them. There's the pre with one. They need a lot more here. That bomb is ticking, and the TSM members, they're dropping low on health as well. No grenades left on the NV side, so it's going to be all down to the AKs here. They're being slowly pushed back while the bomb is being defused. They're going to have to peek. It's being a long time coming. Let's not enough. Sipnix, he sprays down both, and he's got the kit. But I'm all oh, I think it's just going to be enough time. No, it won't. Once again, it goes through an envy. 4-4. Four, four. That's twice now, Semla. I don't know if my heart can take more rounds like this. If, this, if the whole finals is going to be like this, Anders, I don't know if I we're going to handle it. This is too much. They look, literally, all they had to do, yeah, look, that, this. look, that was beautiful. Synchronized jump baiting right now. That's what, we're, what we've got here from Envy. I'm, I am seriously wondering if the first guy defusing on TSM, he couldn't have had a kit, could he? I think he was defusing without the defuse kit because he went through for a long time. Either that or he was down to the last nanosecond. Either way, this round, it's armor, pistols, and a single M4 for TSM already. Dupree is gone and happy lurking out here, but... Horribly missing the spray and Sipex or Sipnix with a quick reply here as Kenny goes down. He just needs one more shot on Kiyoshima and it's gonna go through. So a decent position here for the Danish side. So this is pretty scary. He has device is gonna start playing it. I mean there it is. What is that? Apex decides to go jumping through. I don't even know what's going on at this point. He just decides to feed himself to Zipnix, who's got a gun, and now he's got an AK to work with. We have Device on a mission, starting to push through. Finally, though, we have Cajun actually rotating in to support Zipnix. It's a little bit too late, but the defense is solid here for TSM. And so much time is being wasted for Envy. If, if they can get this bomb, they're not going to have a whole lot of time to make the play. 
Cajun's close, he's got the armor and he sees the shadow, but jumping in his MVK is ridiculous. Cajun's gonna have nightmares about that device. Takes one more Kiyoshima, who was tagged up so early by Sipnix. Still gonna be living on 20 health and they win that round just barely. I mean, it was minimal equipment for TSM, but they forced that round. Now they're gonna have to probably eco fully here. So they have to be feeling pretty good. I'm actually wondering if they decide to go for it. Pelt for Leather, just go for the buy. Now, okay, they were a bit too low. 2300 around there, so 2200. Just not gonna be good enough. But they've done so much damage to Envy. This is a round where Envy need, need to win it, and they need to win it decisively. They can't afford to drop anybody because their money is very low after that last round. They don't want TSM to be able to win a round and put them back on Eco. They need to start really chaining some rounds together here. Honestly, Sibnix seems completely beast mode right now. He's just yeah. hit like a, a new level already here on Dust2. It's crazy. And Sadikus was telling us that he is maybe a guy to watch for on this particular map. Apex trying to take a bit of a fight here with the Galil into the B bomb site, and he's feeling brave. He knows that they're there and trying to bait him out. Device will take down MBK, and next in line, Apex is gonna fall. What in the hell is going on, Manders? All right, Kenny rotates in, takes out the one. Kerrigan trying to push off from Long House isn't gonna get any joy there with the backstab. But Kenny's deciding to come in here and get the job done himself, but again, another headshot onto him. Finally, they dunk a nade onto Device. But Zipnix is now rotated in, and he nearly takes Kiyoshima out. Was that just a wall bank shot? Yeah, I think it was. This is just a very interesting match already. Cajun going to run through, but Happy's got the perfect timing for it, and we'll end up dropping him. And it seems like Envy are getting control of this round. The bomb is being put down, and now it's just pistols and no kit here. Yeah, yeah not a lot of chances, so... Pretty well done by Envy, I think, just managing to contain this round and not end up giving it up. Sipix is going to get a kill, but Happy will shot him down for the triple kill. And it's going to be 6-4 and four lead here for the Envy side. You know, Anders, this is the feeling that you're getting watching this match, you know, there's nothing subtle about it. There's, there's <laughs> nothing subtle in this match. It's literally a bare-knuckle boxing fight or something going on. It's just bloody, vicious. They're going for the eyes. I mean, they just keep challenging each other, challenging each other when there's no reason to. They're just like, no, I'm actually going to beat you up right now. And this is part of the really, uh, this is why top level Counter Strike is so different and so interesting. Because if it was TSM versus Fnatic instead, you could bet Fnatic would be a very slow and careful team here, really trying to, to sort of measure up TSM round for round with Envy. Yeah. They're, 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 they have a slightly different pace to them, don't they? Uh, no fear. That's the approach. I mean, Thorin was alluding to the idea that maybe TSM should then try and play a more tactical game and not just actually engage in this kind of bare knuckle boxing, but. They're trying to do it, challenging on Catwalk, and they're losing three players already. Carrigan coming with that's too many targets here for him to hold. I think he did actually hit a ridiculous headshot on Kiyoshima while flashed, but it won't make a difference. They're gonna have to eco or save here, and um, that's just a brutal start to a round. And I love that NBK is still waiting around in Upper Dark. Like, what is NBK doing? It's all by his lonesome, just hoping to catch somebody off guard. There is absolutely no reason for Device to think that somebody's already up here. But he's been spotted, and now the damage is being dealt, and the NBK shows that he can land headshots with pistols too, and he's looking for the follow-up as well. NBK, no saving this time for TSM. He just tombs the both of them. Did you see the face of Next behind him? It looked like he was actually looking at NBK thinking, I'm not even sure, how did that even work? How did you do that? Like, he was looking concerned on TSM's <laughs> behalf, you actually know. actually concerned, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had two shots as well with the scout here. That's a real pleasure to watch. But all five players survive for Envy, so this is actually a bit problematic now for TSM, who are going to be once again put back to pistols. Whereas Envy now can start generating quite a bit of a bank. They mess up their smoke as well. Ah, this is a huge mistake, but Dupree gets the punishes regardless. Kiyoshima follows it up, and they just go leaping into the B-bomb site. No fear at all on Envy's side. And Happy, not going to be bested this time by Kerrigan. Wow. Very fast round. So, I mean, if you're, if you're a huge TSM fan here and you're starting to get really worried, I, I definitely venture to say that TSM are going to be playing better on their terrorist side than on the CT side of this map. Uh, so I wouldn't really be too panicked. Get 8-4, though, definitely a really good lead for Envy. And as we go into the 13th round, I think TSM do need to clock at least six rounds here in the first half. I think that's, that's like the, the cutting off point here. So that they kind of have to make it work now. And a leg shot through the door there, going to bring Dupree down to 19 health. Yeah, Kenny's on point with his magic stick today. 
Like, he has been so consistent hitting those cross shots, and Cajun, he gets spotted, and you can see the frustration clear, evident on Cajun's face. Yeah. I mean, it's just like, they're, they were waiting for me. They had me read, like a book. But I think, actually, the frustration really did, he should have had that kill. That, he had just enough time, I think, to be able to land that flick there. Just didn't, didn't connect. And now they're playing much more defensively, as you can tell by the setup here. Oh. A little bit of nade damage going in as well. But not going to connect with anybody. And now they decide to slow things up once again. Envy, right past the minute mark. They've had Kiyoshima waiting outside a long house as well. No push this time from Kerrigan. But I do like the... Th these are subtle adjustments that are being made by Envy that... Based off of what they've seen from TSM. Well... Device for the shot there to bring down Apex, and they've wasted a lot of time here, Rainbow. We're down to 35 seconds. Cajun gonna be dropping happy. It's looking good here for TSM. Refrag on Sipnix, and another one goes through. If MBK got the third one, that'd be scary. Kenny doesn't hit that shot, but Kiyoshima will, and it's down to a 2v1. 25 seconds as the bomb goes down. He's got the orb. He's gonna jump one challenge. He's not gonna hit it this time, and he's down to 10 health. If they had a grenade, it'd be over, but he's gonna repeat once again right into the pre-fire there. And Cajun, triple kill in the round, and TSM will barely pick it up. Yeah, well done on TSM's part. I mean, this was what needed to happen. If they'd lost that round, it'd be nine rounds for Envy, and they would, it'd be sort of smooth. Crew. I mean, they could essentially consider the first half victorious, I think and uh, it'll be an uphill struggle. Now, it's pretty much anybody's game. We're at 5-8 and leading into the very large stage of this first half. I mean, this, this Grand Finals right now is looking super competitive. And look at Kenny and Happy. It's double up on either side. Oh, and there's the shot from Kenny. He's, he's hitting everything right now. This is getting ridiculous. Yeah, really good job on him there. Sit mix down to 21 health. Trying to play long early on. He's probably going to have to fall back here. And Dupree boosted up in CT spawn, which is a play that's designed to counter a mid uh, to B split push here. You get a lot of information. You see it coming early on, and you can uh, try and kill them as they walk up the slope there. Now they gather, and Dupree is actually going to be waiting. Yeah, device solo on the B site. This could be really nasty. Once again, Envy, Happy in particular, making the correct call. Based on the information, but Device locks it down. Kenny gonna try and not follow that up. It's NBK trying to return the frag, and that's not going to work. They're actually trying to pick up the AWP, and it's Apex who thinks he's gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Device. But the Dane is having none of it, and Envy, they're hightailing it out of there. They're trying to change up the plan last minute here. That must have been a good confidence boost for Device. He needs to really step it up. I mean, we've been talking about it all the tournament long, but he is absolutely a star player on this team, and a couple of frags there, probably gonna help. 30 seconds now. And in the 14th round, they're going to make their way out. Catwalk Cajun there. Easy kill on Kiyoshima. And that should really finish the round. And indeed, it will. Happy, the only one left with 20 seconds. Six to eight. If they get seven, this is, this is now a very open game. Both of these teams have the money to re-up on double up if they want. So I like that we're starting to see the full extent of the options of, of the tactics coming out for both teams. Envy is willing to go for the double AWP play themselves. But Cajun, yeah, that's the thing. That's why that highlights why you need that flash. You have to have gear if you're going to be going over onto the A site and you haven't dealt with the opera who plays cross. You absolutely have to flash Cajun out. But here we go. Haven't seen a straight up rush for a while. Dupree in danger of getting overwhelmed, though. He's just barely going to get the reload off in time, but it's not going to help. NBK will catch him. And somehow Cajun B misses the first shot, misses the second. And he's just going to walk right into NBK for the third. What was that? Kerrigan is now the last man alive. I mean, he does catch Happy, so he doesn't have to worry about having anybody at his back, but a 1v3 retake on the B site, that's unlikely. Yeah, and Kenny just plain says no. That's going to be enemy winning the last round there. Really good job on their part, and we end up at 9-6 to six here in favor of the Frenchman. A, a truly ridiculous round, in my opinion, for TSM. There's no reason why they lost that round at all. They had three people in that B-bomb site. They even see the, they see the rush coming early. There is a Molotov up, and they've got the first kill as well. They should be able to make the call immediately to run back in the bomb site and just contest the main push that's coming through. Forget about the middle. But this is the problem with TSM. It's been for a long time. That B-bomb site, there is, there's something that's not quite working. When you stack three people in B, that's an automatic win if there's a B rush coming like that. It should really be. I mean, I don't think we can, I think we also have to kind of tap Cajun on the shoulder there for that round in particular, just because, I mean, those were two shots. The first one, okay, but the second one, like, you have to, that's a must-hit shot. Yeah. You cannot allow that opportunity to pass.
Especially when you hit two shots on Cat the round before, right? So your eye is in. But now we swap sides. Envy on the defense with TSM on the offense. And we're right into the pistol. Kevlar pretty much across the board. Look at this Apex. He's on a wild and crazy adventure into the CT spawn. Or into the T spawn, sorry. He's going to be running right into KJMP and he gets shut down. He forgot to look both ways, similar, and now he's gone. K oh, sorry, Kenny also flashed and gonna have to fall back on Catwalk. They're in the A bomb side. They're gonna get the bomb plant. They've got no grenades, but they've got a lot of armor and health left here. And they've got Cajun looking at top mid, walking right in here to take the fight. Is Kiyoshima gonna shut him down? And we've got a full 4v4 retake. Yeah, now the decoy fake. Let's see if it actually works. Nobody turns away. They're not falling for it. Instead, they get a bullet to the face from Kerrigan. And Zipnix is holding. This is a perfect crossfire setup. Kiyoshima trying to do the best that he can. He attempts a Kali, but it's not going to work. They managed to fall back in time. And TSM, this is textbook stuff. Waste time. Get him on here. He's got a kit. He's got the quad. Can he get the ace? Yes, he can. But does he actually have time for the defuse? No, he doesn't. All five kills for Kiyoshima, but he can't save the day this time. It's the pistol ace into a lost round. That has to be one of the most tragic things I've seen in a very long time. And you notice something right there. You saw how the, the envy, play, envy players, initially they were jumping to look into the CT, into the bomb site, yeah. and they stopped doing it. And that is definitely the new patch coming into play. They realized that against a Glock at that range, that's almost instant death. So they had to stop trying to do that. What a, what a sickening round though from Kiyoshima. And that's both pistol rounds now picked up for TSM. So now we have to see, can Envy continue with the trend? No, Cajun is going to take out Kiyoshima, but they're not done yet. Envy, they are still able to turn this around, but the B side is open and that bomb should be making its way over there, no problem at all. And Envy realizing this, they're just shifting it up. Trying to figure out if they can catch somebody out of position, and long perhaps device lurking in mid will find NBK. And that leaves the three remaining members here for Envy as gathered up, hoping, oh. crossing their fingers, that... No, oh, they'll get a bit of a surprise! Device gets two out of it. But that's now Kenny holding on to an AK. That could do some damage in the next round. And I don't think TSM really should be out hunting too aggressively on this one, just because... Maybe with the UMP. I'd, I'd yeah, be okay UMP, with okay. Dupree doing it. They've got no flashbang stuff, so they can't really give him a good setup here, but... There's no armor, no head armor, at least, on Kenny, so that could steal away the AK, but... Um, we'll see. I guess my main concern is Zipnix and Cajun. You yeah. know, like, do you want to risk losing more rifles to this? No, I, I wouldn't want to. Definitely not. Let's see, I mean, if they can find the shot long range, Dupree taking point, no problem at all there. But we lose Zipnix now, Kenny finally connecting with the shots, and Happy's just gonna go charging through. He's like, the bomb's about to go up anyways, they can't actually kill Kenny unless he makes a mistake, so... See if he can't get lucky, pick up a third kill. That's not going to happen, but now they have the AK for the next round here, Envy. And two kills out of that round. I mean, it's still not ideal, but it's some damage going Envy's way. Yeah, in many ways it would have been more fun for Envy if, if Happy could have stayed alive just because he had the armor and then they could have, you know, swapped it over to him. But it's still pretty good and Kenny actually does buy body armor in this round, so just trying to optimize his, uh, his chances here. NBK over at long, putting a couple of shots through, but Dupree doesn't want to play that game. Yeah, not ideal either because Kenny was setting up to watch Cat. Now he has to worry about getting flanked out on long. Might actually get boosted up onto the A side here, but Kerrigan's going to find Kiyoshima. That was in mid. <laughs> Look at this boost, though. Okay, that's really nasty. That's actually a really cool idea, isn't it? I mean, if they come catwalk and Happy dies, you're in a really weird position, but up until that point, I love it. That is really sexy. Yeah, they're going to change it up now, and Kenny... He made some noise there, so they know that somebody's close in CT. Device is going to be waiting for that, and they might actually back off and save the gun again. I, mean, I suppose why not? You can hand that off to yeah. somebody in your CT side, save some money. Yeah, I'm not sure how much money Satney Kenny has, but I mean, if he's got taking no armor damage, no, I think he's gonna have quite enough for an AWP, do we? He's gonna trade with Kyo. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. He can thinking. save that AK for Kyo, and Kyo can drop uh, for him, so might not be the end of the world here. Well, nice call here for TSM. I mean, two opening frags, rotation back into the B bomb site that was completely empty, not giving much of a chance for Envy to to pick up these rounds, which. I mean, not all of their game plan rolls around, but they very often get a really early boost in every round they play, every half they play, just because even losing the pistol, they're able to bring it back so often. We've got a bit of a sneak going on here from Device. Happy is about to have a very bad day. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he is half a second too late, but still a good kill. That's, a, that's why you don't pick on Kenny's friends. Get shot in the face. <laughs> At least Device made the 600 bucks bonus, but 
Yeah, now we get into the fun stuff here, and it doesn't look like there is an AWP picked up. In fact, Kenny's going to hold on to that AK. So this could actually be long-term thinking for Kenny. Save some money, and he could potentially go for an AK later on here, a bit earlier than if he were to spend all of his money this round. But no early aggression, although Zipmix will go ahead and attempt to try and clear something up here on long. No target, though, and no uh, initial kill. This is also very standard stuff here from Envy. No focus on mid, and it seems like TSM have an eye on, idea on this. They want the challenge. Kerrigan's actually going to take that off right in there, looking into CT. I mean, Happy used to love this position. Lefty used to hang out in CT and see if he could challenge mid. But yeah. Kerrigan not finding anything. Very aggressive move coming out right now. Score is tied at 9-9, and we are looking for a bit of a B push coming out here, even as there's someone on Catwalk. They're now out in the middle with three people on the TSM side. If they get one frag here, that's going to open it up now. It's a disaster for Kiyoshima inside with the M4. He's got it in hand. He's got plenty of bullets, and he's going to drop the bomb on Simnix. Goes for more, and if he got that shot on the pre, it would have been amazing, but he goes down instead. And in the middle, Carrigan a fall. Device with a nice angle, and this retake, I'm not sure it's even worth it here for Kenny and Happy. If they could get an instant kill, they could try for it, but if they delay another 10 seconds, even 5 seconds, might as well run away. And look at this, Kenny's actually gonna get an AWP out of this for free. This is big, actually. This is gonna save yep. a lot of money going into the next round. He can do something with it. They can try and play around him or just let him sit on some angle. But you gotta give it to TSM, just so swift. Also, Apex, man. What was that jump out on the B slope? That was insanity. Did Kiyoshima throw a flashbang for it? I, I'm, I wasn't quick enough to count that, saw, but... I saw the smoke. That was all I yeah. saw. If you, if, I think if Kiyoshima put out a flashbang, I kind of, I kind of be okay with it. If it was just like a crazy idea, um, maybe a bit too much. I'm wondering if they're trying to, if they're like double bluffing each other and stuff, you know, because that's, that's also a go-to strategy for Apex, which is throw down the smoke Look. and then go and challenge an upper dark. Yeah. But yeah, there's no flash. He's just there's like, no you know what? Bang. I'm going to see if I can't trade one for one. Yeah, I think that's, I mean, okay. Uh, they couldn't also know that there were three people there. That makes it even more crazy from our point of view. But I think a flashbang would have been the, the safer option here. Kenny boosted on Catwalk. Not going to get a target just yet. But at least we'll see that there is a, a distinct lack of terrorists in the middle. And he does manage to make it out of dodge. Uh, Kerrigan once again with that AWP. Flash to open things up. Not sure if Kenny spotted the man in lower dark there. But that's Dupree making his way in. Now we get a bit of the crossfire here. So they're actually going to try and set up a little bit. More of an aggressive uh, style of defense here, Envy. Trying to challenge in mid. And so far, Kenny, no joy for him. Attempts the wall bank, gets that dunk nade. Nope, not really going to do anything. I mean, TSM are just probing all around the map right now, yeah. trying to find the area of weakness. And well, working their way up Cat so quickly, Kenny definitely not expecting that. Well, the bomb is in top mid. If NBK found it with that deagle, it looks like he's going to be a little bit too late. They're still fighting up here. Apex going to get the kill, but he goes down now. That leaves one person and backup coming in. It's Kiyoshima licking headshots. He's going to get two of them, and Happy's there to help out. It's now 2v1 device. The bomb has dropped at 39 seconds. Jumping is not a good idea any longer, and device hits a headshot. It's currently a double. He's going to have to hit one more bullet on Happy, and he'll be gone. But neither has any grenade, and there's only 27 seconds here, Semler. This is all about the fight. Both of them can get the one-shot headshot here. Ah, well, this might get clever. There it is, the drop in. Perfect play by Device. What a clutch. And you can see the, the frustration there on Happy's face. You see Happy turning around as well. Like the, 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 somehow like the mental game between those two players, that was very cool. They just, they both knew exactly what was coming. So it was just down to a, you know, a nanosecond between them and, and it maybe Happy could have got that kill. That was very interesting. It's a real pleasure to watch this game right now, but one thing is, if you're a TSM fan, you've kind of experienced like the reverse, you know, what was happening in the first half. You might have had that sinking feeling. Now you're starting to feel a bit better, especially considering Dupree is waking up, having flashbacks to overpass at this point. Double entry frag on the B site, completely crushing the defense. Apex is will going to get the flash, but Cajun B will shut him down before he can get the job done on Dupree. And Zipmix over on the A site catches out NBK. This is just one of those rounds where everything falls apart instantly for Envy. Based off those two initial kills, everybody else is trying to move around the map, trying to bring it back get some kind of control in the round. And well, because they're taking risks, TSM, they're gonna be there to punish them. I mean, rounds like these are, are a bit strange because it's not down to Envy doing anything, you know, wrong in particular. And it's not a round that TSM can replicate. It's just Dupree going mad and headshotting two people inside. But you can't really rely on every round for that. So I think Envy just gonna have to move on here and say that probably won't happen again. Happy doing what he can to try and save this rifle which will be important. Money is now a huge factor for Envy because they need to start stacking a lot of it together so they can put up a proper defense here. Sipnik's going to get the kill. I mean, 
something that we haven't talked maybe too much about, because we keep talking about Kenny as Dior, but I mean, they will happily run Kenny and Happy as a double open on Dust2 CT side. That's a huge strength. They just don't have the money for it. Mm -hmm. They keep getting reset and just gambling at the beginning of the half, basically going for these kinds of buys where Kenny, you know, yeah, okay, he stuck on the AK initially. He tried to set it up. He saved an AWP, so they should have had even a little bit more money there to work with. But right now, I think that, they're, that Envy, they're getting caught off guard by how, just how aggressive TSM are coming through for because right now, okay, this is a tactical pause called by Envy. They have to slow things down and try and figure out what's different about this. They're pushing up Cat very quickly. They're pushing into Upper Dark very quickly. They're just not used to this aggression, Envy. Could, could, I, mean, I was wondering if we could have done some lip reading there from Happy, what he's saying. Well, give, me team. A, give me a camera. I can take a shot at it. <laughs> give me a Something video. like the, the Danishes are yeah. going to get wrecked. The Danois. All right. I don't know. I obviously don't know very much French. No, 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 the extent of my French is adding Le in front of almost everything. Exactly. And Le Baguette. <laughs> 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 but honestly, I, I, I mean, if I was TSM right now, I, I would sort of be torn between either thinking or everything we're doing on the second half seems to be working, so just keep doing it. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about whatever they're cooking up because our, our game plan is solid right now. But at the same time, at the top level, these pauses, these tactical timeouts have been proven super effective. Obviously, the team that does it There's to the perfection is, is, is fanatic. <laughs> oh. I just had to give that to Thor real quick. All right, what were you saying? <laughs> I'm saying Fnatic is obviously the team that's perfected this whole idea of pausing and then winning the, the following round. I think Envy are going to be quite capable as well. So, I mean, TSM. Oh, headshot! <laughs> Kiyoshima is gone! That definitely was not part of the plan. They have... Look at how many deagles they had. I think they had four deagles and a 5-7 bot this round. Envious are insane. Well, surprise, surprise. And actually, that 5-7 is going to work! And Kenny finds the headshot on Cajun. Okay, this is definitely going according to plan now. They actually have a gun to work with as well. You can hand that over to Kenny if he wants. Happy will catch the vice off guard. Wow. This uh, is, you can't plan for this kind of stuff, though. Carrigan not going to hit the mid-air shot there. They were jumping inside TSM. I mean, it's actually what they did makes sense. I was about to say, why did they go and be like that? But they got the shot of Kiyoshima. They're going to be thinking, well, there's only one person in there, probably. Then there's two with pistols, and they're really angry. Apex going to be taking down Carrigan. This is a beautiful round for Envy. They're playing so well here, and this is going to bring it right back. I mean, if not, winning this round means it's pretty much anybody's game. Shot from Kenny, and the round is done. 12-10. I mean, this... Okay, so everyone at home, this isn't like they paused and said, let's play like this to win the round. They're just so good with pistols. What they probably planned for is the round that's coming now. Exactly. And, I mean, I don't even know. This is... Wow, that was the thing of beauty. This should have been the start. But I mean, exactly, oh. right? And now it gets even better because now they have all the money. They can do whatever they want. Double up, sure. All the nades, kits galore. I mean, this is now Envy's round to turn things around here in this half. 12 to 10, TSM still in the lead. And TSM, of course, plenty of money still to go for a full buy on the, of their own. They have the AWP on Kerrigan. No joy for him this time trying to gap someone. Once again, a bit light on the defense in the middle here for Envy, and that's cost them before because it means TSM can get out into the middle so close here. The bomb is still at top mid, though, so no one's picked it up for TSM. And there's a great grenade on Apex. He actually walked right into it. But hiding in the corner is Happy. He gets a kill. Kiyoshima, too, and Kerrigan is going to miss a shot. Happy wants a challenge, but the Danish sniper not going to give it up so easily. NBK gets a refrag there on device, and it's down to a 2v3 out on long with the bomb. is going to be Sipnix. And that right there. There it is. Oh, the perfect flash and the 180 MLG <laughs> scope shot from Kenny. Okay, then. Everybody, yeah, everybody is low on Envious' side, and Kerrigan is just hunting for some overkill, but he will get caught out of the open. Down to 1 HP. He needs to hang in here, but he actually has to reload an off. That's not every day you get to see that. But unfortunately, the bomb is dropped on the other side of the map for him, and he's running out of time. Down to 25 seconds. He's hoofing it back into T-Spawn, and this smacks of trying to yeah. save this gun because, yeah, the money right there is not, it's not there for TSM. If we get a replay of, of what happened to Sipnix over at long, what you really should 
notice, and this is one of the ways I always choose to try and identify like high level players, like really quality players, is the idea of changing targets to whoever is the most dangerous. Because the first target that Sipnik's had wasn't of any threat to him. That guy couldn't kill him. All he had to do was back up once. Kenny, who's closer, could on the other hand. So he actually switches mid spray. That is incredibly hard to do. You need like, like a super hyper level of focus to actually sort of switch between targets before any one of them dies to just get the most out of it. So look at this. He starts firing here, puts a cover. Then he realizes, wait a minute, this guy can kill me no matter what. So I'm going to have to switch now the flashbang ruins all of it but it's not easy to do that obviously it would have been even sicker if Sipnix had just killed both of them which he was you know a bullet away from doing but still just a tiny detail it's like a, a, a sign of quality I'd say and it's also showing that TSM still have some fight even down and out and around like that they're able to do some damage and nearly bring it back they're always dangerous both of these teams so chock full of talent of skill raw skill that uh Anything is possible, but this is starting to get a little scary here for TSM. Envious getting momentum their way. This is a round where they can actually build some bank, build some money, and Happy, he's looking for a variation. I love it. They stacked three guys earlier on B with Happy, right? Even Apex dying early, Happy was still able to bring it back. Now he's going to take a different approach. He's going to be boosted up on the boxes, and this makes it very interesting if a beast play comes through. Oh, good refract there from the Vice. Kiyoshima alone on the bomb site. Happy in the middle defending, though, and that's obviously very important. Kiyoshima just needs to stay alive. Doesn't have to really challenge and fight them yet. He can just wait for backup to come in here. All they have is this AWP, so as long as they don't give any easy targets here, Envy, they should be able to equalize the score. And there it is. Kiyoshima will present himself as a target. And the shoulder peak, and Dupree now waiting in mid as well. He can catch this man out. NBK, does he check below him? Dupree's in the best spot, but NBK checks so thorough. Does yeah. not leave anything to chance and then hits a peekaboo shot on the device. KJB now with the AWP, but NBK not to be stopped this round. What clean kills from him. Three headshots. That's, That's one way to shut down a round, isn't it? It's just another example, right? And okay, we just had two clear examples of like the support players and how just excellent they are. Zipnix in that one round and then NBK. You know, these guys are playing the air quotes like support roles, but at any point in time, they can just blow up and take over, just end a round. And this is what Thorin was trying to point out as well, that there's, it's really hard to define one clear superstar on this team just because they all have some uh, pretty ridiculous peaks. That's going to tie it up, ladies and gentlemen, at 12-12, moving into the 25th round. And it is it's hard to call right now. It seems like they've, they've both got uh, rounds on either half here. So now it's just down to trying to find a way to grind out the last couple of rounds. I mean, TSM haven't done their tactical timeout, I think, yet. So they could still pull it through, see if they could come up with a plan of their own if, if it starts to fail too much. I think if they lose this round, it's gonna be it's gonna get to that point. And Kenny starting off strong, taking out device. Happy will get spotted, though, a little bit slow on the peak. But what a flick from Kenny. And this is, could be it. I mean, they are trying to push up here. There it is, the push from Device. Or no, rather Dupree. But he gets returned on by Apex. And it's going to be Kerrigan now. 1v3 situation. Bomb dropped out in the open on Gandalf. Looking for the headshot. But he will be denied in the end by Apex. Two kills for Apex in the end. And that this is starting to feel like... This round felt a lot like TSM. We're doing like... Uh, just like, you know, trying to get fights and peaks on Catwalk. But it slowly sort of turned into a push which uh, it didn't seem like there was too much of a plan there. Just like every person who followed up after the, the last dead one, trying to sort of pick it up and see, can I get the refrag? Can I get the refrag? And well, it's like picking with the bomb as well. We noticed with the replay there, but the man who peaked Kenny initially had the bomb and dropped it on Cat when he died. Yeah. So after that, you're kind of committed to it. You have to try and get control of that part of the map because you need that bomb back if you're on the T side. A bit of a, wow, this is all over the place. In fact, Cajun going to be able to finally remove NBK and Kenny trying to use a bazooka right now to kill a man. I mean, none of them have Kevlar, but he's going to go ahead and try and off him regardless. They've stolen the rifle down there. It's going to be handed off to Sipnix, and Cajun's got that deagle still, so it's got Dupree. So we'll see. They are kind of boxed in here on long T Terra spawn. It's going to be happy. Takes one. Peaks maybe almost a bit too long there. Got to be careful. He's going to get a double and looking for the triple. Sipnix will be pre-firing him around the corner. He's alone, and um, <laughs> enemy... They're now very close to stealing this map away. They've got him boxed. He can't go to Longhouse, and he can't go back into T-Spawn. Now life gets a little bit difficult for uh, Zipnix. It turns into the waiting game. In an eco round, you kind of want to die, because they're never going to let you hold on to this rifle. As soon as that clock ticks down, they'll hunt you down, so he has to actually try and make something happen here. He's got two flashes to work with, but he chooses to peek instead, and Kenny is there to end him. This 14-12 um, at the moment. Yeah, this is it. I mean. 
Dust 2 as well. This is, this is the map that the desk were, were basically saying, you know, this is TSM's map. They are going to win this map to start this best of three. But Envy showing yeah. that uh, they are perfectly capable of putting up one hell of a fight. Now we have to see if they can close it or if we're going to have a repeat of the Fnatic situation that we got in Cologne. Not to, you know, twist the blade in the wound or anything here, but... That's, uh, <laughs> Dust 2, you know, they might still be getting flashbacks. But a comeback right now would be great for TSM to set them off uh, on a high note right into Inferno. We know how good Envy are on Inferno, so... The pressure is going to be on tonight. TSM played badly. Inferno is still a very close map, but um, I, feel, I feel like TSM would be just a bit down on themselves if they didn't get this one. Pop flash in on Catwalk and Device waiting. You can tell no one is there. Kenny is actually all the way over at the B-bomb side. They're very well trained there with that peak as well. Device, you can see dead on, would have just had to click mouse one to get the kill. Oh, sorry, Kenny said <coughs> car. Yeah, much, much more of a passive hold. Much more of a passive hold here actually coming in from Kenny. And this is where Envy really want to make TSM sweat. They're down to 50 seconds. Flash is going out. Not going to be super effective. And the spray is there for NBK. He holds his own. He knows that a second man is there as well. Kenny strikes. Takes out Dupree. Misses the follow-up shot, though. And now he has to worry about long. And he just decides to go jumping in to take, to take care of the job himself. Kenny has no fear. And Carrigan was so low on health. He kind of ran away. I mean, this is 2v3, yes. But Carrigan and Device are very low on health. Cajun might have to try and do this on his own. They don't have any grenades on the CT side, but they have an AWP on Kenny, and he shots Device down through the box, looking for a second shot here. Got to be careful, Cajun. If you go down, Carrigan is alone, and that's a nice headshot for the double kill. Kiyoshima now sneaking close. The smoke is up as well, and it's going to help Cajun stay hit, and Kiyoshima walking on the box, sprays and takes him out, and now the plant, where is it for? This Molotov's going to land right on top of Kiyoshima. Can he stay alive? Three, two, it's going to go through the defuse. Here it is. 15 rounds and Envy, they pull it off in spite of Kiyoshima burning alive. Did he have three HP when that went off? Literally the last tick of that Molotov. That's twice with TSM not having enough time to defuse. This time, Envy with three health left. What oh, a oh, round. I, I, I. Oh my god, three HP. <laughs> well, that's the, that's the kind of nail-biting finish there. 15 to 12 now, and Envy, well, they're one round away from taking the first map. TSM, still plenty of money, though. Thanks to that bomb, I mean, thanks to that bomb plant. They can get the up on device once again, but now they really have to just claw, like, claw their way in. But look at this, TSM has slowed down the pace. Instead of rushing in, being aggressive like they were at the beginning of the half, they've definitely changed it up. They're looking for the pick play. And Envy not going aggressive either. I mean, Kenny has taken a position on Cap, but he decides to play it safe, not go for a JW repeat. He got two kills there earlier, but a lot of pressure is on them here if they lose this round. I mean, it's not like TSM is far away from getting into overtime territory. Envy don't have an infinite amount of money here either, so they really need to be careful that they don't let the Danes get back into the game somehow. Smoke up and a quick rush here. And this is a really, really fast smoke, so it might be a little bit difficult for Envy to rotate on in inside the bomb site. Happy Kirishima going down to the corner. Apex, this is a flawless execution for TSM. And Carrigan even spraying down Kenny and CT spawn. If we get the scoreboard, we need to know how much money Envy has here. They've got a fair bit, so they can obviously buy next round, even if Happy's a bit low. But um, just, a, just a detail on how that B split works and why it's different from the standard one. That nice shot from Sipnix. It has to do with the fact that they are actually on the CT side of middle when they put up that smoke. So it means. There isn't an initial bounce on the wall. It doesn't bounce twice on the ground. It just It's there and it goes off, and then you have three seconds to tell your teammates it's a B-split, and they obviously weren't in time for it. So it's a very fast execute, and you can't always do it. But it goes back to Envy being less defensive in middle. And it looks to Happy. I mean, it's also down to the timing on Happy. Happy is trying to push through that smoke, thinking, I have a couple seconds where they're going to be looking at B-slope. Their backs are going to be to me. No, they're already in position, thanks to how fast that smoke goes up. Yeah. And TSM don't have to worry about stabbing in the back. It all works out perfectly for TSM. What a flawless round. Yeah, but they are not out of the woods yet. One mistake, and Envy's going to run away with this first map here, and they know it as well. They've got another two to go TSM before we can see overtime. Three people holding on long, and Kerrigan caught with a grenade in hand. One health, and then Zero's NBK puts the last bullet in. Now, the rest of TSM, they really can't make it through. They're going to have to fall back here, so not the best start for TSM. Time to change it up, exactly. I mean, they've taken significant damage. They still have some nades to work with. Couple of smokes, three Molotovs, and a flash. But they're very low on Envy's side as well. With a minute left, this is so much time now. They're just trying to keep the pressure on here. 
Still does look like they want to try and head towards that A site, though, TSM. They're gathering momentum. He hit that shot device. MBK down to 29. But 40 seconds. Smoke goes up here, and I think this is an attempt to fake it. Not a very convincing one. We'll see if it's going to work out. They've got another smoke. They've got three Molotovs here to try and just force Envy out of positions to pre. If he wins this fight against Apex, it's going to get ugly for Kiyoshima in the back. NBK gets the one. Dupree's going to get the shot here, but Kiyoshima's still alive. And now it's all on Cajun. 1v4, 20 seconds, I think. Dust 2 is all but done here for TSM. And our Cajun, you can see he's focused. He's trying to line it up, but he needs to find the headshot onto Apex. And all Apex has to do is sit behind that box. He doesn't even need to peek. Eight seconds left. Cajun B will be removed by Kiyoshima in the end. And NB will be picking up the first map in this best of three.